Hi, I'm Tim Cashel with the Evolve Academy. Today I'm going to walk you through a short demo of Panasonic's Geometry Manager Pro software. Now the first thing you have to realize is that the Geometry Manager Pro and advanced warping is not a standard feature for all Panasonic projectors. All Panasonic projectors do come with basic warping such as four corner and keystone. But to access warping for curves and nodes for odd shapes, you need to purchase and activate the Geometry Manager Pro license for each projector in your fleet. All projectors from Evolve already have this license pre-installed. To check if a projector has this license activated, go to the Projector Setup menu. Then navigate to Status, and then the Status page number 3. If ETUK20 is activated, the GMP license is installed. Next, you will have to download a copy of the Geometry Manager Pro software. This can be found on Panasonic's Projector Asset Support System, or PASS, website. You will need to register before you can access the PASS site. You do not need to own any projectors in order to have access to the site. The URL for the PASS site is shown here. Or you can do a browser search for Panasonic PASS. The software is currently only supported on PCs, so Mac users will have to use Boot Camp or a PC emulator in order to use the program. Establish a network with your projector. The default IP address for any Panasonic projector is 192.168.0.8 with a subnet of 255.255.255.0. In the case of multiple units, remember that each projector in your network must have a unique IP address and this should be changed prior to physically connecting with the projector to the network. When you launch Geometry Manager Pro, you will see a dialog box that asks for the starting IP address to search for, and notice it defaults to the .8 address. You can enter a single IP address to connect to, or specify a range of projector IP addresses to include. For username, enter admin1 with all lowercase letters. The password is Panasonic, again, in all lowercase letters. For the newer RZ21K laser projectors, the default username and password were changed. It is now disp admin for the username and at Panasonic for the password with a capital P. This is a user changeable setting and Evolve has tried to match the RZ21Ks to the previous login information. Once connected, in the upper left you will see the connected projectors listed. You can rename projectors as well as add and delete units to the list. There is a test pattern section where you can select an internal test pattern or overlay a grid on your incoming source. In the bottom left, the transfer section determines what happens when you make geometry changes. Either the software will wait for you to hit the manual transfer button and send all the modified warp data at once, or you can select auto transfer. The data will be sent and updated as soon as you make a change. Select auto transfer if you want to have a real-time interaction. Navigate to the Geometry tab to access the Advanced Warp features. At the bottom, you will notice some presets for particular warping situations. In order to start manipulations, you need to first select a memory location to use. There are three possible locations in which you can work and save. In FreeGrid, you can select an individual node or a group of nodes by holding down the mouse button while dragging over the grid. The grid size can be set by using the Grid Resolution section in the left column. In the Cylindrical section, you can import the current curve settings from the projector as a starting point. This is helpful if you already did any roughing in using the Curve Geometry menu. The same kind of import can be done in the Keystone and Four Corner sections as well. Here you're seeing some real-time interaction between Geometry Manager Pro and the grid coming out of the actual projector. Notice that you also have an on-screen pointer that shows you the relative position of the node on your GMP software. When you are done with your manipulations, be sure to store your settings in one of the three projector memory locations using the store key. You can also save a single projector file to your laptop and then open that file to load onto other projectors. 
Finally, if you ever want to reset the value for the warp tab, you can go to the file menu and select reset tab to restore the factory values. This is Tim Cashaw with the Evolve Academy. Thank you for watching.